So the previous videos showed the privacy settings and inviting contributors to the blog. And this is going to show from the point of view of the person who was um, invited to contribute to the blog. So you can see they would check their email and they would get an email that says you've been invited to contribute to the blog. They would click on the link in their email, click on accept invitation. From here, what they would need to do is they would need to sign in with their Google account. Notice that it has the blog URL here. I'm actually just going to copy it because that's going to come in handy. Um, anyway, click on sign in, and then they would sign in with their Google account. Then it would bring them to this main page again, and I'm not sure why it comes up twice, but they would click sign in and then accept invitation, but that's just how it does it. Um, it'll prompt them to create their own blog. They can skip this. Um, they will simply need to change their display name. And then click finish. And so then from here, they're basically going to be on the blog that was shared with them. Um, and so then they would be able to create a new post the same way that the original author did. All right, anyway, um, I'm just going to discard this post. Um, they would be able to go on to the main blog. Um, so I'm just going to paste that URL that I copied earlier. And um, as the author, they would have access to create a new post as well as to be able to view and post a comment. Now, that being said, um, we did invite another student who would simply be able to be a reader as opposed to an author. So an author can create a new post, a reader cannot. What I'm going to do right now is I'm actually just going to sign out of this account, and then I'm going to sign in as the account that was invited to be a reader. Okay, so this is the point of view of somebody who was invited to be a reader. And so they will see you've been invited to view as opposed to um, being invited to be able to be an author. They would click on accept invitation. Um, again, they would go through the process of signing in with Google. Again, accept invitation, and then they can view the blog. So they're an official reader. So then that being said, they would be able to post a comment and it would show their email address. And then they would be able to publish the comments, but if they were to go to the main blogger page, so they're able to comment. If they were to go to blogger.com, however, um, and sign in, this particular student would simply be invited as a reader. And so again, it prompts them to create their own blog, um, put in a display name. But that being said, you'll see that they only have the option to create blog. They don't have the option to be able to create new posts on this Helping Fantastic Pets blog.